man doing his job, man. Peace. What up, YouTube? We back at it. We back in the shop. We done finally made it back to the city, man. It's time to get it in. We ain't even in the city, but y'all know what I mean. We done made it back out here to California. Back in the shop, about to get some work in. Feel way better. I'm glad we got that bike shipped out, got it on its way. I was happy as hell to see the owner, man, excited and appreciate the work and all the, I mean, appreciate the bike and all the work I did to the bike. It was sick and it just showed me like, I gotta put a pep in my step and keep everything on the road, keep everything going. So today, that's what we're about to do. So we're about to catch up with the bike we're shipping out to Texas. We're about to get this thing out, hopefully within by next week. Really, I'm gonna try to aim for this week if an Antonio can get everything done how he said he should. If that go through, we in the game. So stay tuned, we're about to have this thing on its way. But I'ma tell y'all, I appreciate all the support from everybody. I couldn't do it without y'all, man. I'm telling y'all, everybody counts, everything counts. And I appreciate everybody from everything we put in every day, from watching, liking, comment, subscribing, whatever you do, I appreciate it. So with that being said, we're about to get this working, y'all, we sliding. So today we got some running around to do. I'm gonna go get this, uh, try to get the tire balancing on this 21 inch right here for the Texas bike. Now, I had this thing going to Antonio's, but something that came up, so we had to put it off, so I had to wait. But now, it's time to get this thing wet up. So we got everything loaded in the car right now. We about to go pull up in Antonio, drop the whole paint set for this off. Y'all see how this is looking? It's definitely gonna be that color, but it's gonna have a little spice to it. So I can't wait for y'all to check that out and see how everything flow out. I've had this for a while, but like I said on the, my last video, I'm gonna start getting bikes with less damage so everything is not taking as long. But like I said, this thing is coming. I love the way this frame is powder coated, looking amazing. And everything is blacked out just like the last one. I think my next bike, I probably try to chrome everything out to get a different look like I just did. My boy Denny Roking came out amazing. But yeah, with this one, we're gonna black everything out. We already got this front rim. We're about to go ahead and get that back rim uh, tire off, get that to the powder coat and get everything on its way. So stay tuned for that. So pretty much once the paint come back from Antonio this week, we're going to throw the paint on, have the rim powder coated, have the rims on there. This thing should be firing up. And I don't know if you guys remember, this was the bike that I had the transmission cracked on that's over there on the floor. So basically what I did with this is took this transmission off. The insides was good and running. I swapped the insides on this one because his transmission went out. So I swapped the insides on that. We got that one working cool. And with this one, this is a whole nother one off the road light I picked up from Arizona Copart and I ended up parting the bike out and that's how I got a gang of little extra parts but I use that transmission so this is completely A1 we got it good we're going to just go ahead and get this transmission cover powder coated black once we get that back we're going to throw that on do the fluids get the paint from Antonio throw the wheels on and have this thing rumbling and jumbling <laughs> but yeah man we're about to get this thing on its way to Texas y'all so stay tuned this thing is going to be sliding it's going to be on its way out we're going to have my boy Ruben come and pick this joint up in the next week or so so I'm trying to get everything going have this thing looking amazing it looks crazy right now but I'm telling y'all just wait give me a sec y'all gonna get the whole image in a second and it's gonna blow y'all mind i promise y'all from the before to the after so stay tuned for that man on another note we're about to go ahead and get some things from this from the machine shop this thing should it could be done today i'm gonna try to run with that i got other exhaust everything on there it's only one spacer that i need right here for the back one spacer for that like it's a gap between there and then i got to get one more spacer to put that last bolt in over there so we're gonna do that and then get the primary cover from the machine shop, throw the wrap around back on and then go for a test ride. So let's stay tuned and see what we can make happen today, man. We working, we getting it in and we sliding. Y'all see what's going on. And if you wanna enter to win any of these custom Harley Davidson's, go in the description below. You can enter for my 2017 custom Road King right now, ready to go slide and hot and ready, man. It can be yours getting dropped off at your door. So go ahead and go in the description below, copy your side of beanie. That'll be your one entry. If you want another one, two beanies, three beanies, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So we slide, but get in while you can, cause it's going fast and we are going to be going live real soon so we can pick the winner, man. So stay tuned y'all, we're working. So we're about to slide out the shop, y'all. About to go ahead and drop the paint off for that thing right now, hit the machine shop. And then we're gonna come back and assemble these last parts for this thing and get this thing on the road today, man. So stay tuned, y'all might see this thing slide, not hiding, y'all. Y'all see what's going on? This blue out here wet looking amazing. About to be sliding. Stay tuned. Up here, Antonio's man. We got everything we need. About to go ahead and offload this stuff out. Yes, sir. We got the paint dropped off, man. We got one, two, three. Got everything locked and loaded. About to look good, man. It's a man doing his job, man. The beast. About to get this knocked out. 
So y'all see what's going on. We just dropped the paint off to Antonio. Got that thing up in there. About to get it knocked out and done. We're going to grab that back this week. So as soon as he done this week, you already know we're assembling the paint, throwing the rims on, and we're going to try to get it going for the shipper to get it shipped out. So stay tuned for that. We're about to go ahead and head to the tire shop, get that tire off, and then we pull up to the machine shop to grab these parts, man. So stay tuned. We're about to slide from there to the powder coat. Yes, sir. About to get that tire swapped out. Lorenzo's tires. Getting the job done. Yes, sir. Got that shit knocked out to the powder coat shop. We out. Slider. They knocked that out so fast and did an amazing job. So we're about to slide from here, go straight to the machine shop, grab this piece for the road glide. We're going to take that straight to the powder coat so we can get that done. And also, we're going to get this other piece done for the Texas Street Glide so we can have the transmission wrapped up with everything. So stay tuned. We're going to go from there. I might got to slide by Harley to grab some parts. So we're going to see what's coming after that. And then we already know we're going back to the shop to get these parts assembled and getting the bikes rolling, man. So stay tuned. We slide and we're working. So we're pulling up to this machine shop. I'm about to go ahead and pick up this primary cover. The top five bolts went up from strip, so now we got that done. We're gonna take it straight from here because they're using these crazy huge machines. So we're gonna do that, pick it up from him, and take it straight to the powder coat so it can have it fresh black, ready to go, man. So stay tuned. We're working. These are the type of shops that I need. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is what I'm trying to work for and have one of these days, man. I need the real deal with the power, electricity, and everything working accordingly. How these dudes are. This can literally be me. Just gotta keep working. So I'm sick, y'all. Oh my god, gym is closed, man. Oh my god. We tried though. We're gonna uh, give him a call and see what's going on. Man, this is crazy as hell. He said I barely missed him by a few minutes, but he's on the freeway, so we're about to check back in with him tomorrow. So now we're about to just go straight to the powder coat shop and get these parts up over there. I still gotta take this part and check. Oh, you know what's crazy? I think I have another uh another primary in a powder coat. So we're about to go check that out right now, man. So stay tuned, we sliding, y'all. They made it to the powder coat. What's going on, man? Good. You been good? No, you Yep, I got, uh, I got the rim I'm in a car. Okay. I'm driving right now. Yes, sir. I literally forgot. I got pieces already up over there. So we pulled off in the powder coat shop. We got everything wrapped up. Now this is crazy as hell. I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I swear I forgot I had the stuff in the powder coat shop. I've been moving around doing so much. This stuff is literally the parts I was trying to get from the machine shop. The machine shop literally had this primary and got the boat out and I was gonna take it here to powder coat it. So just like I just said earlier, like man, this, the machine shop is closed. It don't even matter now because I got a whole nother one fresh out the powder coat shop. So that make everything perfect. So now I'm about to slide back out to the shop, man. Try to install these parts and see what we can do, man. So stay tuned. We getting it in and we working. Y'all see what's going on, man. That shit is crazy. I'm so happy it just worked out like it did, y'all. It's crazy. So we didn't made it back to the shop, y'all. We got our powder coated parts and it's crap. I'm telling y'all, it's so wild how I was trying to go drop that off and pick it up today or hopefully today. And the whole time, the shop ended up being closed, had me kind of sick, like, damn, I lost faith. Then go to the powder coat shop unexpectedly. I got a whole batch of powder coat in there with everything I need. So, man, it's crazy how everything works itself out, literally. So we sliding. We're about to try to assemble these parts onto this bike, man. I'm going to show y'all what we got in the box. So this is what I needed for that bro king we just sent out. I had an extra one of those. Got the trans cover. We got the primary with the primary lid and that's exactly what's getting from the powder coat shop so right here we got to throw that on there and put that uh c-clamp on the uh clutches throw the cover on put the fluid then we'll be good the only real problem that we have right now is really just a spacer and i feel like he need a custom spacer kind of sort of so i'm gonna try to figure that out right now but I know I got some action at everything else. I got the caliber off so I can take the wheel on and off. But besides that, everything is intact. The battery is kind of sort of juiced up. I'm gonna put the primary cover and all that on. And then I'm gonna try to roll the bike forward so I can charge it with the car and then give it a start. And that's one thing for sure why I can't wait to get a real shop, y'all. I need battery tenders on all these bikes so I don't have to keep dealing with jumping and this battery, that battery, cause it's, 
irritating. But you got to do what you got to do, man. We ain't where we at, but we're working towards it. So it's going to pay off real soon. So we just now pulling off from Harley. We went and got some primary fluid and we got the spacer that we need for the back rim since that back rim is different. It's not like the original wheels where you have the bushing and you can just put the cushion inside. This one, you have to actually bolt it to the actual hub. So the space difference is a major thing on there. You don't want the back wheel wobbling. Everything we need. Y'all, what it is right here. Yeah, this basically, this thing is different than the stock one. So, we in the game now. So, we finally got some action, y'all. We got the spacer up on there. I just got from Harley. It went right on the bike. So, now it's no play. It's no type of uh, space between the spacers and none of that. So, we good. I see how the spacer is in there perfect. We got that in there perfect with no play. Then on this side, we got the uh, ABS adapter right there in there perfect. So now we got that, we are good. The only problem that I see now is, I just try to tighten the wheel, the belt is way too long. So what I mean by that is I got the wheel all the way back. The only thing that goes back to is this. So I probably have to buy a bigger one with a bigger set of uh, the little tooths, I guess, or whatever. We were supposed to originally put a chain kit on here, but we was gonna wait for that. So now it's either try to find another belt, take off the whole primary, or go ahead and try to switch the back uh, belt drive. I think most likely I probably have to end up taking the primary back off and switch the belt to a smaller one. So that'll be the best thing, because I'm not 100% sure if they make different sizes with those, but I'm gonna look into it for sure. But that's a wrap. I still got the primary fluid. I'm definitely not putting no primary fluid inside now until I make my decision of what I'm gonna do with that. But on another note, we got this thing coming together. I was trying to get it to the owner today. If I could have just got the back fix, put the primary fluid and put the front fender on and call it a day. But it's like, that just killed it off because I can't ride at all with that. I could take the bike from my shop because it's gonna be closed after the day. But it's like, I don't want to rush it. I don't want nothing to happen. I want to make sure the bike is 100% and the owner is 100% safe on the bike. So with that being said, we're going to have to put it off until Monday. But I feel like Monday, I got faith. I'm trying to get this thing to Vegas within this week for sure. So on the agenda, we're going to try to get this to Vegas this week, if most likely Monday. Then after that, we should get the paint for this thing from Antonio. So we should have that bike complete by Friday. So... That being said, we sliding, y'all, so stay tuned. We still got all the powder-coated parts, but we're going to wait till we get this figured out so we can get everything knocked out. But that's where we at with it, y'all. Just went ahead and got the brake line on there. We was gonna bleed it and get it going. We're gonna get back to that after I put the wraparound on. But right now I was just checking out this back hub. As I was telling y'all last time, the bell was too long. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to bust down a primary or take off this, but I did some research and called my boy Backhouse Customs. He just let me know that these back hubs come, I mean not back up, these back rear belt drives come in different sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a bigger one. The main thing I was happy about that we were able to find that metal spacer right there to go inside. Cause basically once you change that up, it's hard to get the spacing right. So the fact we got that accomplished is cool. So now we could just focus on finding the right one with the right amount of teeth. So the belt isn't as loose and hanging like that. So that's the only really hold up now. I'm gonna finish knocking out this primary and whatnot. So stay tuned y'all, we're about to get this thing going. Get this thing on the road, man. Get this thing sliding.
got this thing wrapped up for the day. It's about to close, so we gotta go. But we got the floorboards and everything on here. The primary looking good. This fresh powder coat looking good. This thing is looking nice and wet, y'all. Got the blue washers on there making it stand out. Tomorrow we're gonna basically get that resolved. Charge the battery up as soon as we come in so we can get that first start up. And then we're gonna just finish going over the brakes and the fluid. Then we slide in. Then we're getting that paint for that bike. So stay tuned for that, y'all. We're about to have Texas up next. About to be rolling. Let's see what's going on. For everyone who entered the giveaway, we are down to like the last almost 40 spots. So I'm trying to fill those in as fast as possible. As soon as those are filled up that week, we're going live, which I'm hoping is this Friday. Hopefully, if we can do that, that would be amazing. We can go ahead and go live, pick the winner, see where the bike is headed. So if you're trying to grab you one, please get you one while you can because I'm trying to get it over with as soon as possible. Y'all want to see where the bike is headed because I'm shipping out Texas in like the next week or so. So I want to be able to get both done at the same time if I can. But if not, I will have to hold back. So I appreciate everybody for watching and tuning and tapping in, y'all. appreciate everything.